Hey guys, I'm Mike. I'm a general practitioner working in Greater Manchester, UK. And in this short video, I want to share with you all of the resources I use day in, day out as a GP and show you some easy ways to access them by using bookmarks in the internet browser of your choice, providing that's Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, of course. Finally, if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you the fastest way to get them all ready and loaded the moment you turn on your browser. So let's get started. The key to being efficient is to have all the tools you need to perform your job to hand ready to go. And this is regardless of specialty. I mean, if you're a surgeon, you won't be efficient by having to fish out all of your equipment from a drawer full of metal bits. And yeah, that is the extent of my surgical knowledge, metal bits. Your tools need to be laid out for you, unwrapped, sparkling clean, ready to go before your first patient comes in. And the same thing applies to us as GPs. When I was a locum, I used to try to come 30 minutes before the start of my shift just to get things ready and part of that routine was loading up all of my tabs in my internet browser with the resources that I use and let's talk about those resources so this is part one let's open up a browser I typically use Google Chrome the first resource that I always have loaded up is medicines complete this is the BNF and it's gonna have everything in terms of medication doses and that kind of thing the second tab CKS. CKS is nice guidelines summarized. This is probably the most useful thing for GPs because everything is in there. And if it's not in there, it's either not medical or this should be dealt with in secondary care. And I think it's especially good for things that I often forget, like the dose of ketoconazole for seborrheic dermatitis. And the third tab I usually have open is an update course like Red Whale or NB Medical. A really easy PDP point for your appraisals is to attend an update course. And I usually do that every year. I mean, it's tax deductible, it's fun. You'll generally learn something. And I usually have that year's handbook open as well. So let's get these bookmarks loaded. Click on the tab you want to add, go to the right hand side to the three dots and go down to bookmarks. Bookmark this tab, click done, sorted. Let's add the second one, which is CKS. I'll go back to the home page for this. Right hand side, three dots, bookmarks, bookmark this tab and that's done. If you're not seeing your bookmarks, it's probably because you haven't clicked on show bookmarks bar. And let me show you where that is. Same place, three dots, bookmarks, show bookmarks bar. And there it is, and now they've come up. The reason bookmarks are useful, if you load up your browser, and instead of having to manually type in the web address, you just click on your bookmark and it's loaded. New tab, loaded. Let's do the same thing with Internet Explorer. Turn on Internet Explorer, find the website you want to add. So this is Medicines Complete again. And bookmarks in Internet Explorer are called favorites. Right click on the top bar and click on favorites bar just to show it. And then you click on the little star and your bookmark is there. We can do the same thing with CKS. And we're going to bookmark this as well. At the top, if you hold on to it, you can move them around. So you know how to set up bookmarks now. Let me show you all of the resources that I use. I'm going to turn on Google Chrome because that's typically the one I like. The next one I want to show you is an amazing patient information leaflet for back pain versus arthritis. And this is brilliant, to be honest. And I've done these exercises myself at one stage. Here's another one, Cancer Maps. I did a whole video about Cancer Maps. These are literally a lifesaver. So please check that one out if you're interested. The next one is BMJ Best Practice. I have spoken about this one as well. It's currently free for all NHS staff and it's brilliant for more of a secondary care approach. This is a really cool home blood pressure diary from the British Hypertension Society. It has some really great instructions on how to check your blood pressure. And if you want to establish a diagnosis of hypertension, you can ask your patients to do seven days worth at home. Another one is the HRT formulary options. I mean, obviously it's HRT <laughs> who is going to remember this. And this is a brilliant flowchart. Another really useful one is the GNNG Medicines Management Group. So this is for our area. This is a brilliant resource for antibiotic guidelines and it gets updated every so often. So you know you're using what you're supposed to. Yeah. I also have a really cool leaflet on sleep hygiene. It's just a one pager from Australia and I find it kind of summarizes most things. And this is the newest one that I added recently. Sadly, a lot of people are struggling with their mental health. And so if I Google NHS mood zone, 
this is the website that I'm signposting a lot of patients to. And now finally, the last one I'm gonna show you is something called Typing Club. Typing Club is an amazing website that teaches you how to touch type. I'm definitely gonna do another video on touch typing, so I'm just gonna leave this for now. Now I promised you a bonus at the end. This is something that one of my fellow GP colleagues showed me when I discussed resources and bookmarks at our practice meeting because I am the efficiency lead at our practice after all. I have no idea what that means, but let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you load up the bookmarks you want and let's add in another one like the red whale one so again bookmarks bookmark this tab so we have three now instead of having to press on these every single time if you go to the right hand side and go into settings scroll down to the end and on startup open specific page or set of pages and you can use the current pages that you have loaded. So what's going to happen is when you close your browser and you open it back up again, the tabs are already there. How amazing is that? I'm going to show you the same thing in Internet Explorer. So let's load up our tabs. You go into settings, internet options, start with tabs from the last session and apply. So when I close this, and I load it up again, there they are. That's it guys, the links are in the description below. Join in, comment with your favorite resource, I'd love to hear from you, and then we can share with other people as well. And again, if you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe and you can email me directly. Otherwise, good luck.